Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we've got a new line today, the Glossop line in Manchester. And it's run by Northern Rail, which is the company I work for. So it's really weird to come home from work to play a simulator of a game of the <laughs> where you work. Um, and it's, uh, it's a short line, but we're going to have a little look at it. Um, but there's one certain area I'm going to look at first, and that is um, the conductor. Okay, because on this one, you can be the conductor. So I'm going to teach you how to be a conductor. So let's go to it. Let's find it. Uh, gossip line. These are the scenarios. It's going to be this one there. Take on the role of the guard. So we're going to do that, and I'll, ch I'll show you this is what a guard has to do. Now, the guard is probably the most important person on the train, okay, because the driver drives the train. The guard does everything else. Okay, so today we're taking on the role of the guard, and we're waiting for the border service from Manchester. Okay. We can fill some newspapers up while we're waiting. Can we go out here? No. Okay, so this is a... Uh, what station are we at? Guide Bridge. We're waiting for the train to arrive. Here she comes. Now, most guards actually start at the station. Uh, not in the middle of a, of a run. But if they do swap over, they will swap at a, a major station like Manchester or Leeds. And that is down to because the guard carries revenue on his persons. And so you wouldn't want to be stuck in the middle of nowhere with your revenue. Right, so we're going to board the train. All right, we'll set ourselves up. Okay. Your duties as guard include operating the doors and checking passengers' tickets and keeping passengers safe on their journeys. Alright, so first of all we put the T key in into the DKS, which is the, the door control. Alright, we've done that. What we're going to do, we're going to go onto the platform. We're going to have a little look. Doors are already open because obviously a guard would have left and you would have taken over his duties. So what you would do here, you would just stand here and you're checking your corridor, all right? You're making sure that nobody is too close to the train. You're looking at the aspect. So we've got a green light there. And you're also checking uh, that everyone is safe. And when it's time for you to leave, you check the time for you to leave, and everything's done and it's all clear you then can close your doors so you go into your door we're going to close our doors step back onto the platform you're watching for the door shut you're making sure nobody's stuck nobody's got bags caught or anything and that your corridor is still clear when in fact really it's not because she is standing way or he she is standing way too close Okay, so you wouldn't move, you'd blow your whistle. And then they would move out of the way. So what we've done now, now it's all let's pretend it's all clear. So we can now go in here and we close our local door. Okay. Cab door. Is it here? Oh, let's have a quick look. It's a weird place to put the cab door. So anyway, so you close your cab door, your local door. It wouldn't be over here on this unit. I don't know why they put it here. See, I can't even close it. All right. Let's see if we can get a bit closer to it. There we go open the window right and then you give two 
one saw give two on the bell to the driver. He reply, and you stay here. You do not move away from the door until you have left the platform, because you are looking for out of course situations. Anyone running for the train, or anyone sort of like doing wrong things. So you wait till you've come to the end of the platform. There we go. Now we can collect our key. And now we will do the announcements normally. But we're going to go and do the ticket check. So we've got some people here. Need to check their tickets. So oh, must close that cab door. Security. Ask to see the ticket. Okay. So today's date is the 30th, and her ticket's the 30th, and she's going from Guildbridge to Manchester Piccadilly, so that is valid, so we'll just say perfect, thank you, and move on to the next one. Okay, let's see your tickets please, uh, madam, let's see your ticket. That's in date, and that's also uh, valid because Ashby's, uh, Ashbury's there. Thank you. We go through. These are tight, these trains. So we're going to go and try and see if we've got anyone else. Let's talk to him. Check his ticket. 20 seconds, so that's out of date. So, no, it, we'd have to sell him a new ticket. There's one right at the end here. Look, let me check this one. Uh, 30th Guild from Guildbridge to Guildbridge. Well, no, that's not a valid ticket, is it? Because you can't have from Guildbridge to Guildbridge. So we check them. Now we head back to our cab. Open our door, and in we go. So we've done the ticket checks. We should be coming towards the next stop. You can make your announcement. We're shortly arriving. Um, next stop. And then when you see the station, that is when you will put your DKS in here. Alright. So we're doing that now. The reason why you do that before the train stops because in real life the buzzer does not work unless you've got the DKS on so again you stand here you look for any out of course situations anybody running or anybody shouldn't be there so when you wait to come to a complete stop then when you've come to a complete stop you can then open your local door Why can't I get to this? What is wrong with this? There we go, local door. You step off. You're looking at certain things, guys. You're making sure your train is fully accommodated, which it is, see? And that your area is safe to open the doors. Once it's safe, get on board. We can then open the doors. Uh... Oh, why does that say door closed? Okay, we'll step back off. Now you're making sure people get on and off safely. Without any problems. We've got a green aspect. That's the really important things, guys, that you've got to remember. You're looking for your green aspect. You're looking at the time, because you have a timetable on what's called a diagram. Right. Let's do this while we're here. And once we're happy, everyone's on board, safe, and our area's clear. See what this guy's going to do. You're going to get on, pal? No. Nope. we get here. We're going to close our doors. Step off. We're watching to make sure they shut properly. 
So move away from your train so you can see all your doors. Alright. And make sure no one's in contact. Your area's still clear. And nothing's stuck in the door. Check behind you. Make sure no one's running from there. Right, that's all good, so we can get on. Okay, we'll shut our local door. I don't know how this works, this thing, because... Uh... See, that should have shut, surely. Okay, now we're shut. We'll give two on the bell. And again, like I said, you stand by your door until you've left the station. You do not move away from your door. Uh, if you do, you at work, if you do that, you will get, um, you'll get done at work. You'll get a warning because you have to make sure you've left that station before you can leave the door. Then you can turn this off go and check tickets all right so this is how our conductor does it all right so you check the ticket no right so going to our dick that's fine ticket please mate you look wrong 14th no mate that's not valid out of date so he has to buy a new ticket or get off you wouldn't say that, you'd say, I'm sorry sir, your ticket's out of date. Yeah, you're going to need to buy a new ticket. Um, you'd offer, and if he doesn't got the money, he doesn't want to buy it, then you'd ask him to leave your train at the next stop. Again, out of date. Oh, what is with this area? A lot of people are out of date with tickets. Here's another geezer. Third, out of date. So he needs to get off. So we've done our ticket check. So we head back to our cab to do our doors. Now there is a what's called a door matrix, right? There's only certain parts of the train you can actually do the doors at. Okay, and that is at the rear, or you can do it at the middle if you've got a certain amount of cars so here we are we're arriving let's put that in wait till we're completely stopped okay we'll open the local door okay again we're going to get off we're going to check that we're fully accommodated yep we've got a green aspect there's no one running from behind so we'll go back on to release the doors. Get back off. And you wait for people to get on and off. Now there's a guy standing really close there. So normally what you would do, you would blow your whistle. And you know, and then he, he should look around at you. That guy got off look with no ticket. And, and then you, you, you should tell him to move away by, you know, by using your hand movements. Sometimes they've got headphones on, so you have to go up to them and check. So we can do that, actually. See if it will react to it. This person... Yeah, well, what was that about? Okay. Ask him to move. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so there he goes. He's moved away. And once you've done that, guys, you don't just jump on and do your doors. You check again. All right, just check. Move away. Make sure you've got clear. All the doors are clear. Everything's fine. So now we can close our doors. Step off. Make sure they're all closed properly. Make sure you can see all your doors. Once they're all clear, make sure no one's running for the train and that you're still safe to leave on your pop here we go two to driver 
and you stand here again just wait for the platform to go and that is how you do the dispatch okay that's how you dispatch a train you do not move away from this door until you've left the actual whole platform and there we go so now we can collect our T key okay check our tickets if we've got any I'm really enjoying this scenario it's a good idea uh, 29th October that's a day out of date so she needs to get off there's some lot of fare evaders in this uh, area <laughs> alright let's have a look there's a ticket please sir 8th of October that's not valid mate off you go ticket please 30th Ashby's to Manchester, yep, that's valid, mate. All good. Next one, hello, mate, to see your cousin up there. Ashby's to Ashby's, it's, again, it's not valid. Because you can't have it from there to there, can we? Right. We're coming up to our last station, I mean, now, our, our next stop, I believe. Oh. Have I got another ticket there? Yeah, I do. that's fine all right so we're getting to our station this sometimes happens again so what we'll do as we've stopped before we do anything we'll check make sure we're on the right platform this side we're this side so we'll do that we'll get off Make sure we're accommodated. Luckily, the curvature of the platform is in our favour. It is. So we get back on. We can release our door. Let people get on and off. See, when you got a, it works for you sometimes on the train. You get a, it, the curvature of the platforms in the favour so you can see it so we're just waiting for everyone to get on and off check behind you right so we'll just have one more check okay can we see a green aspect I can't but there should be what's called an off signal there because you cannot see the signal so that's a mistake by um, Dovetail we need an off signal there please put that in guys if you can so what we're going to do we're going to close the doors step off when you can't see a green signal on the platform there's a sign with like a laminate and it will, it will say off which means you've got a signal and that's before the conductors so they can they know that we've got a, a clear signal so we're all good on we pop close the doors open that window two to driver and again we wait till we've left the platform before we remove the key you don't remove the key until you're away from the platform because in real life the buzzers don't work without the key in so now we can take it out now if you do see something going wrong on the platform you buzz to the driver one instead of going eh, eh, you just buzz one that means stop so got a few tickets to check in here What have we got here? Hello mate. 30th. Perfect, thank you. Any more tickets please? They need to do this more. Dovetail, you need to put this in more because it's really good fun. Um, 30th. 
Yep, that's perfect. Uh, so that's if that's all good. Right, that's all checked. I think we are coming to our last stop. So you would make the announcement when you get back to the cab. We're shortly arriving to Manchester Piccadilly where this train terminates. Please take a moment to make sure you've got your belongings with you. And mind you, step down to the platform. If you do see anything suspicious, find a member of staff. Text the British Transport Police 61016. Manchester Piccadilly is your last and final stop. All change, please. And that's what you would do. You'd make your announcement. You are allowed to sit in the driver's seat. You do not have permission. No, but you are allowed to sit in the driver's seat as a guard. So it's another little hiccup there from uh, Dovetail. You wouldn't sit there, okay? You would sit here because you have access to if you need to stop it in an emergency or use the uh, GSMR or use this to talk to your passengers. Anyway, so here we are, Piccadilly, our last stop. So once we've stopped, we will release our cab door. Got to make sure the train comes to a complete standstill. Okay, open the door. Oh no, we haven't put our key in. What a donut. <laughs> okay, now we can open our local door. We'll step off. Make sure we're safe and we're on the platform safe we can open doors let everyone get off everyone should get off now because it's the last station and you've told them to all change right then what you would do you get back on and close the doors. Okay. Get on there, you close the doors. Are they going to let me finish this properly? Okay, so you need to do now. I'm not going to remove that key. I'll tell you why in a minute. I'm going to close this because I don't want anyone getting on. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. Alright, so what you'd normally do is take your DKS off and then you'd walk through the train making sure that everybody's off all right so you check everyone's off the train yep you'd, you'd even open the toilet door make sure no one's in there you go through the whole train make sure it's empty you're also looking for any lost property or anything like that okay and that's what pretty much what you would do so that's all empty, the train's locked out. You'd also shut the windows, because you don't want the rain coming in. Okay. And you go back to your cab. Have we got the, uh, the light switches here? Where's my light switches? Because normally what you do, you turn off all the lights there. But this is probably going to end the scenario here if I take the key out. So we'll take it out. And that's it. You walk through the train to check the passengers and boarded it like I just told you. And there we go. This is called... Um, T 
dispose him when you dispose of the train, which you have to do. Move to the rear cab. This is the rear cab now. The driver shouldn't be in there. Why have I got to go back up there? Why is the driver still sitting in there? I see there's some little hiccups in this, but apart from that, it's good. So that, guys, is what a conductor does. That's his bread and butter. Does a lot of other things, but that's his bread and butter. So we're going to leave the train now. Okay, close that door. And there we go. End of service, and we walk away from that train. You wouldn't exit the station, you'd go to your next service. And there we go. Let's have a little look at the northern livery. Very nice. Get sick of seeing it every day, but there you go. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers.